Hello and welcome to Cargo Shots from the Stat Trade Times, powered by Group Concord. Here's our pick of the best new shots that made the headlines this week. Let's look at the week's top stories. Global demand measured in cargo ton kilometers dropped 6.6% in April compared to April 2022, according to the latest update from ITA. The decline was an improvement over the previous month's performance, down 7.6%. Capacity measured in available cargo ton kilometers was up 13.4% year-on-year and up 3.2% compared to April 2019, the first time in three years that capacity had surpassed pre-COVID levels. While the strong uptick is primarily driven by belly capacity as passenger demand recovers, freighter capacity declined 2.3% in April. Qatar Airways has signed a deal with Shell to source 3,000 tons of sustainable aviation fuel or SAF at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. The deal will see Qatar Airways use at least 5% SAF blend over 2023 and 2024. The agreement is part of a wider effort initiated by the One World Alliance, which has set a target of using SAF for 10% of combined fuel volumes by 2030. Qatar Airways is the first carrier in the Middle East and Africa to procure SAF in Europe beyond government mandates. IAG Cargo, the cargo division of International Airlines Group, announced the official opening of its new cargo handling facility, New Premier, at London Heathrow. The facility has been designed to handle more cargo for customers with 11 new landside doors, meaning faster engagement for drivers to collect or drop off cargo. The temperature-controlled building includes a state-of-the-art constant climate quality center for pharmaceuticals with 29 dedicated cool cells and temperature facilities. Ameriflight, the largest part 135 cargo airline in the United States, received approval from the Federal Aviation Administration to operate drones. The company has approval to add the Matinet M2 drone to its fleet, enabling the launch of the first fully operational large-scale drone operation in the U.S. Ameriflight plans to focus on healthcare and e-commerce deliveries to customers located in dense urban and suburban environments. Wingcopter and Siemens Health Engineers signed an MOU for drone deliveries to transport diagnostics materials as well as medical supplies in Africa. The solution will adopt the latest technology from Siemens and Wingcopters including highly automated drone delivery to laboratory information systems that will accurately track and report results directly to the patients. The battery-operated drones will be operated by Wingcopter, covering a range of 75 kilometers while maintaining the cold chain at all times. Birmingham Airport Authority is preparing to start construction of a $27 million air cargo facility at the Birmingham Shuttlesworth International Airport. The new building will be the home base for a new line of business that includes weekly scheduled international cargo flights from Stuttgart, Germany. Back in February, the authority had joined hands with Kunenagel to bring scheduled international cargo flights into Birmingham. 
Kulinagar is currently operating out of a temporary hangar but will move into the new facility once it's completed next spring. Last year, there were 1,564 air cargo operations at the airport that moved nearly 21 tons. And it's a wrap for this week's episode. You can read more on all of these stories at StatTimes.com. Make sure to check back next Friday for the news that you need to know to end the week. Wishing you a great weekend ahead and do take good care. For the latest news on air freight, Visit our website, follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Give our YouTube channel a visit and subscribe to access our past webinars and virtual conferences and access exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with global logistics leaders. Thank you for tuning in to Cargo Shots by the Statrade Times. Powered by Group Concord. See you next week with a fresh roundup of Cargo Newsmakers.